no less than 900 all over the world. Each one, like this facility in Atlanta, kitted out with the latest in cutting-edge automated technology. The first step in cola production is mixing the ingredients. The secret syrup arrives from a central mixing facility and is diluted with water. Sweetener is added and the flat sweet liquid is pumped through to the production lines. Every day the plant uses three and a quarter million aluminium cans. Each and every one a pressure vessel. They must withstand 90 psi, almost three times the pressure in a car tire. First the cans are flipped upside down for a blast of ionizing air. They're now super clean and ready for filling. But the syrup is still a few million bubbles short of the finished article. And the gas that puts the fizz in fizzy drinks is carbon dioxide. A high pressure carbonation machine dissolves the gas into the flat syrup. While cans are cooled to 5 degrees Celsius to stop CO2 fizzing over their tops. It's now a race to seal them before the mixture goes flat. So next, they fold the lid inside the edge of each lid to form an airtight seal, which ensures a satisfying burst of bubbles when the ring pull is popped. The numbers coming off these machines are staggering. 2,200 cans per minute. That's a bathtub of cola every 20 seconds. At this speed, some don't get filled to the brim. Any that don't measure up are thrown from the line. The humid Atlanta air can cause condensation to form on the cold cans. So they get a 34 degrees Celsius bath, followed by a thorough air drying. The result, warm, dry, condensation-free cans that won't turn their cardboard containers soggy. The final step is to distribute the drink all around the world. But they don't load them on planes and ships for long-haul journeys. As Brian Kelly explains, they've simply built factories all over the planet. While it seems complex, it actually is quite simple because we're able to take in 200 countries uh, a global product and make it the same in more than 900 facilities just like this. Around the globe, 900 factories like this one churn out can after can, box after box, and pallet after pallet. <laughs>